ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, in celebration of 200 years of circus in America, producer Kenneth Feld is proud to present the special anniversary edition of Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Circus, the greatest show on earth. Clouds, give me colored lights. Give me dancing girls and acrobats dressed up in tights. Give me elephants and tigers too. And there's nothing else in all the world I'd rather do than march down the street to that military beat. Hear trumpets blare, there's excitement in the air. It's a great old fashioned super colossal grand all American circus parade. years, the circus has announced its arrival in towns across America with the great Circus Parade. Watch the wheels spinning round and round on the crazy float to pull the circus into town. With the man on stilts and some ballyhoo, you can lose your cares and find the kid inside of you. So march down the street to that military beat. Hear whistles blow, we're about to start the show. Beat the drum, shout hooray, grab your hat and run away. With the great old-fashioned, super colossal, grand all-American circus parade. I direct your attention to the high wire above the Hippodrome track as Vivian Marible prepares to become the first woman in the history of the greatest show on earth ever to slide over 100 feet while balancing only on her head. Watch her. On the whirling wheel of death, the incredible Espanias! There's a part in the act where I have to jump off the wheel. I have nowhere to grab. For like almost two seconds, I'm free falling and it just feels like I'm off everything. I'm flying. It's like a ballet because it is very difficult, but it, it looks easy. But when I'm blindfolded, I can't see anything. It's very dangerous. Uh, we're talking 45 feet up in the air. My life is in pretty much my brother's hands. You have to make it look nice and, and feel good. If anything is dangerous, we're gonna try. The Espana! Ladies and gentlemen, Marathon Bicycle Racing! On your mark! Get set! Circus is a magic combination. It's all the rib-tickling fun of the clowns, the beauty and dangers of the animal acts, and the incredible athleticism of the acrobats. Just as Americans come from every corner of the globe, we have performers of every nationality, language, and religion. Put this all together, and you'll understand why we call it the greatest show on earth. Wow. 
Clowns are the heart of the circus, and this year there are 18 clowns in Clown Alley. Now, for many people, the clowns are also the face of the circus. The face of a clown may be the very first thing that a child sees and remembers from the circus, and may be the one memory of the show that they carry with them for the rest of their lives. In training and presenting ferocious felines in the steel arena, 22-year-old Graham Thomas Chipperfield. cage with the lions. The lions, they consider me to be another lion. Uh, especially now I have lionesses in the cage, so I have to be careful that you know they don't consider me as too much as a lion, so when they're fighting, they kind of come behind me and say, well, you can join the fight too. I like lions because they're very, although they're very dangerous animals, they're very honest animals. If a lion is going to attack you, it will tell you before it attacks you, maybe, uh, maybe that day, maybe even a week before, and it's up to the trainer to actually see that. To be uh, on the ringing show for me is a, is a very big honor because uh, it's almost like receiving a, a medal for actually what I do because the Ringling Brothers Barnum and Bailey Circus is uh, it's the greatest circus in the world. Graham Thomas Chipperfield! In ring two, the astoundingly agile Valencia. And in ring three, the subtle strength of the Quinn Ming. Can you imagine supporting the weight of the perch, the catcher on the perch, and the swinging weight of the flyer? The Moldovan Perch Act is incredibly demanding physically. This act is a combination of strength, agility, and incredible timing. Now imagine an act that requires the same amount of cooperation, but the athletes speak four different languages. This is the Del Moral Troop from Mexico, Hungary, Romania, and the USA. The Kunming acrobats bring all the magic of China to our show. In an awesome demonstration of strength and concentration, a 90-pound woman serenely balances this entire pyramid, weighing more than 750 pounds on the soles of her feet. miniature ponies prove they can perform as perfectly as their larger cousins. Helping with the training is seven-year-old Alexander Stevens and Sebastian, who's only five. I have 
six horses in my ring and they waltz and they stand up on their hind legs. They're very unpredictable, but they're very beautiful and they each have their own personality and personal style. Tina and Mark are from a famous circus family. Their father, Gunther Gable Williams, is the greatest wild animal trainer of all time, and he's here at the greatest show on earth. This year, I'm performing the Liberty Horses on horseback. To watch 12 horses and control Napoleon here was very time consuming and took many hours of training and practicing. But with the help of my father, we put together a great act. Circus is proud to present our ambassador of amusement, the crown of crowns, David Larry Blay. You know that scary feeling, the teacher's looking around, will she pick on you? Well, that's how many people feel when a performer asks them to help in the show. But not when David Larible does the picking. He makes everyone comfortable. That's why people love this clown from Italy. I think that everybody that I take in a ring with me can be funny, sometimes even funny as me. And that's what I try to do. I try to bring out the funny part of everybody of us and maybe help us uh, uh, to laugh about ourselves. I think that's very important. That's what the clown is all about. You cannot go only for adults or only for kids because uh, circus is a family show. So you have to try to reach uh, everybody in the audience. I mean, sometimes it's, it's wonderful to see three generations sit down uh, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the place and the grandmother, the mother and the daughter laugh about the same thing you do. It's wonderful. I think only in the circus you can have something like that. Close your eyes and come with me Set your imagination free Take my hand and What does this graceful artist whose balancing acts are unparalleled have in common with the clown who can make dreams come true? This is Vivian Larible, David's beautiful sister. Circus is family. Every little girl dreams of being a star, and this little girl wishes she could soar like Vivian. Can David make this dream come true? Presenting the children of the circus, in ring one from Volgograd, 13-year-old Olga. Olga's training in Russia as a ballerina makes this act a thing of rare beauty. In ring three from Mongolia, 15-year-old Tumen Delgar and his little brother, 12-year-old Tumen Oz. The Tumen brothers are trained by their grandfather in the secret ancient Mongolian military art, which is the basis of their hand balancing act. And in ring two, 11 year old Yulia. Yulia started to do flips in her partner's hands at the age of two. 
Now, this child of the circus dazzles us with her poise and balance. Both of my parents worked with the circus and my mother worked with the same partner I am performing now with. He's my coach and he invented this act which we are performing now. I like the circus here better and the audience here better because the audience is more friendly and uh, welcomes the act more warmly. In ring one, Shwaishi and Baiji. In ring three, the Queen at Club and Drew. And in ring two, from Australia, the Ashton family. At eight, Miles Ashton is a complete professional. After marveling at this demanding physical act, it is surely no surprise to learn there is a long tradition of circus in his family. I'm the seventh generation and proud to say these are my children, the eighth generation, carrying on the family tradition. Can you imagine being a human juggling ball? It might look like a lot of fun, Miles says it is, but it's hard work too. Miles and his sister Liana must display awesome physical control. This celebration edition of our circus wouldn't have been complete without a group from China where acrobats have been training for over 2,000 years. The greatest show on earth found the Kunming to display this astonishing tradition. The legendary explorer Marco Polo was as amazed by Chinese acrobatics at the court of the Emperor Kublai Khan as we are here today. Their feats of balance truly straddled the globe. This cuddly frog and panda, Spaichi and Baiji, contort their supple bodies through hoops and cylinders, measuring an incredibly small 14 inches in diameter. In fact, Chinese farmers first devised these acrobatic entertainments using common farmyard implements to celebrate good harvests, weddings, and holidays. The greatest show on earth brings the future of the circus to you. As children from the audience join our children from around the globe, and we celebrate the child in all of us.
bouncing, hip-hopping display. In rings one and three, the Chicago Kids. And in ring two, the Russian Kids from the Cherif of Yetz. The Chicago Kids started out with a Jesse White tumbling group in the Cabrini Green projects in Chicago. Then Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Circus trained them intensively for eight months with Russian acrobats. Meanwhile, in Russia, the children from Cherepovets were training just as hard. Now we've brought together both groups of talented acrobats. Their skill and split-second timing is evident as they display feats of electrifying energy and infectious excitement. Children of the rainbow have gathered to say that we are all part of one big heart that's humanity. Children of the rainbow. display of aerial flying known to man. From the Moscow State Circus, the Kaganovich! These eight soaring Russians execute thrilling stunts never seen before outside the former Soviet Union. Their leader, Yuri Kaganovich, is justly proud of his act. Most of his team were in the Russian army. His flyers are a top gymnast and a champion acrobat. The Kaganovich make their amazing act look so easy, it's hard to imagine how incredibly difficult this is. And now, the Kaganovich defy the law of gravity in a spectacular series of soaring leaps across the arena. The Kaganovich is the only trapeze troupe in the world which performs the daring forward triple somersault. It's easy to see why they're known as the Crazy Russians. Ladies and gentlemen, the Kaganovich!
Remember the dive of death at the very beginning of the show? This old man is the same guy, Scott Osgood. He started out in a really unusual organization, the Sailor Circus at Sarasota High School in Florida. Scott's performance requires tremendous balance and timing, while he looks as if he has no idea what he's doing. Now that's hard to pull off. Presenting an astounding armada of animal artists, in ring one, the Lee Stevens Baboons. In ring two, the Rudy Lenz Chimpanzees. And in ring three, an all-American array of buffalo, mountain lions, and a painted pony, presented by the Boger family. Kathy Boger says her kids, Chris, Casey, and little Katie, do the hard work in this fascinating act that mixes two natural enemies, buffalo and mountain lions. The Lee Stevens baboons are much more refined, ladylike animals. Each baboon is named after a famous movie star. Meet Jaja Gabor, Tallulah Bankhead, and of course, the mysterious Marlena Dietrich. Sue and Ruby Lenz take very good care of their family. Sally, their oldest, has lived with them for 33 years. The chimps have their own playroom back home in Florida. Here at the circus, the Lenz chimps steal the show with their hilarious acts. with the greatest show on earth. From Moldova. The Buliga. Performing 40 feet up in the air, Nelly Zola Tukina has to utterly depend on Theodore Buliga's strong wrists and hands catching her. That's a lot of trust to have in another person, especially if, like Nelly, you're afraid of heights. In ring one, the soaring symmetry of Mia and Tanya. Mia and Tonya took two very different routes to their shared trapeze. Mia comes from an old circus family, but Tonya started out as a dancer. Their mutual love of aerial ballet brought them together. Soon, Tonya and Mia had developed an act so dazzling and daring that the greatest show on earth said, come fly with us. In ring three, the aerial athleticism of the Del Moral troupe. Back in the days that Eve Jones studied karate, she little dreamed she'd be spending her time suspended over a circus ring. Eve came into the circus as a dancer. Her courage and determination took her up to the top as the only American member of the fabulous International Del Moral troupe. In an all new presentation of zebras and performing pachyderms, 24-year-old Mark Oliver Gable. This was a very hard act to train. To put the zebras, the elephants together, it took us almost two years. The zebras are natural enemies with the elephants. We did it. Mark Gable's father, Gunther Gable Williams, is vice president of animal care for Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Circus.
say the elephants are definitely my favorite part of the whole show. They're my favorite animals because of their size, their personality, and just, I would say, everything about them. I love these guys. for every circus performer is the top. When you arrive in Ringling, you are the top of your career. And I think every performer all over the world dream one day to be part of the greatest show on earth. David Larible with those incredible Chicago kids. Producer Kenneth Feld had a dream of gathering children from around the globe for this show. He asked David Larible to work with the Chicago kids. Kenneth uh, say, David, you can teach a lot to these kids. Uh, and I don't think so. I think we learn a lot from these kids. Well, we're just like NBA, NFL team, because we have to warm up, stretch, get our bodies prepared for what we're going to do in the act. We got to concentrate on what we're going to do so we won't have any injuries. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Motorcycle Mayhem, the incredible Espanyards. At least sort of act, you don't really get a chance to think about it. You just got to go for it. You're going at such speed, and if you're not at the right angle against the globe, it'll, you, the tires will just go from under you. Everybody likes living dangerously. Since we have a chance to do it, we take it, and then you just push it all the way as far as you can. Now, Desi Espana tempts fate as she faces three roaring motorcycles inside the Globe of Death. In the beginning, I was afraid and I was nervous, but now I'm all used to it, and uh, I just try to keep my balance, smile, look pretty, and a piece of cake. Me and my brother and Desi too, we're pretty wild people and we just want to challenge everything in the circus. And now the stars of the greatest show on earth. Give me clowns, give me colored lights. Give me dancing girls and acrobats dressed up in tights. Give me elephants and tigers too. And there's nothing else in all the world I'd rather do than march down the street to that military beat. Hear trumpets blare, there's excitement in the air. Beat the drum, shout hooray, grab your hat and run away. With the grand old fashioned, super colossal, grand all American circus. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm your ringmaster, Eric Michael Gillette, and on behalf of all of us at The Greatest Show on Earth, we thank you for being with us, and may all your days be circus days!
Wait a minute, we're not finished yet. Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Circus is delighted and proud to say happy birthday to Romeo and Juliet. They were born 11 days apart at the beginning of the year. Juliet weighed in at 198 pounds and three ounces and stood 38 and a half inches high. Romeo weighed 227 pounds, 10 ounces and was 39, no 42, no 41 inches tall. When they were a few days old, they began playing together. Now they entwine their trunks to say hello and are virtually inseparable. Juliet's mother, Icky, and Romeo's mother, Elana, share child-caring duties when the babies play. Did you know the natural habitat for elephants dwindles every year, making captive breeding programs like ours more and more important? Romeo and Juliet are the first Asian elephants born at our elephant farm in Central Florida, but we look forward to many more. Happy birthday, Romeo and Juliet. Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Circus is very proud of the work we do on our farm. We're also proud of another of our institutions, Clown College. This institution of higher hilarity has been in existence since 1968. We audition for clowns in every city we visit. Alumni call the eight-week intensive course the boot camp for clowns. Clown College is the most fantastic place in the world. You wake up at eight in the morning, you learn how to walk on stilts, you learn how to juggle. And most important, you learn how to take a pie. At Clown College, each student creates their own original face and shtick. I was the last clown in Clown College to get my face. It was very sad. I began to panic. But then, it happened. I got it. I love this face. I love putting it on every day. August 4th, 1992 was the 25th anniversary of Ringling Brothers and Barnum and & Bailey's Clown College. To celebrate, more than 500 of our alumni spread smiles across America. Clown College students who had gone on to become nurses or lawyers joined professional clowns and read stories, joked and juggled for kids in schools, in parks and in hospitals. Their performances brought smiles to faces at homeless centers, daycare centers, and senior citizens' homes across the country. I don't know how many of our children of the circus will want to go on to Clown College, but at the moment, all of them, Yulia, the Tumans, the Chicago kids, have to go to school. The children from around the world study the three R's. They play computer games and do everything that other kids do. But don't worry, there's plenty of time for our kids to have fun, too, and to hang out with kids from all over the globe. Doesn't that sound like fun? Circus folk are just like everybody else. We go to school, we go to college, then we get married. It's a very special night here at the greatest show on earth. We invite all of you to join us as witnesses to the wedding of Desi Kahayeva and Ivan Espanya. Desi Kahayeva walks as serenely down the aisle as into the globe of death. On one of those bikes, roaring around her at dizzying speed, is none other than her new husband, Ivan. Ivan Espana is used to head-spinning excitement on the Wheel of Death and in the Globe of Death, which is important when the greatest show on Earth organizes your wedding. With this ring, I thee wear. With this ring, I thee wed. With all my love and faith. With all my love and faith. With this ring, I thee wed. With this ring, I thee wed. With all my love and faith. With all my love and faith. I now pronounce that you are husband and wife, friends and lovers. You may kiss the bride. Where else would your guests include 16 elephants, 18 clowns, and thousands of circus goers? Everyone toasts the happy couple who want nothing more than to go on with a circus life together. And where will our happy couple live? On our train, of course. The greatest show on earth has its own private train with 52 cars. It's nearly a mile long. The elephants and larger animals travel right next to the engine, which ensures them the safest and most stable ride. The train is our home, our town. The only difference between it and your town is that our backyard changes every day.
For us, 1993 is a very special year for birthdays. To celebrate 200 years of circus in America, Ringling Brothers and Barnum and & Bailey Circus want to give every baby born in 1993 his or her first ticket to the greatest show on earth absolutely free. Parents need only to mail their name, address, newborn child's name, and date of birth to Ringling Brothers and Barnum and & Bailey Circus, P.O. Box 5265, Clifton, New Jersey, 07015. And they will receive a certificate exchangeable for one admission ticket for any circus performance in any city in any year.